Greetings. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey, exploring the world of Docker containers, to install in your Proxmox server. We want to have a parallel processing MySQL database alternative. This database uses the MySQL client making it a MySQL replacement. It is optimized for handling large-scale distributed analytics workloads. It achieves high performance and scalability by distributing data and query processing across multiple nodes in a cluster. Running this solution in a Proxmox container, it is incredibly useful. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the brilliance of this video. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not, he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. Today, we are going to look at something extraordinary. This video may even become controversial. We plan to introduce you to Starox. You're going to ask the question, what is Starox? Well, I've prepared the following answers for you on our blog page. We will provide a link below to the blog page where all the instructions for this video will be provided. Let's have a quick look at what Starox is. Starox is a parallel processing database. It uses the same MySQL client for SQL queries. Starox is designed to work with much larger databases than MySQL. Starox provides better performance for analytics workloads on large data sets as compared to MySQL. It is optimized for handling large-scale distributed analytics workloads. And Starox achieves this high performance and scaling by distributing data and query processes across multiple nodes in a cluster. To give you an idea, if we take a hundred million records, with Starox we can process those faster than MySQL could process a million records based on the number of nodes you have in your cluster. As you can see, this makes Starox a good candidate to use in a Kubernetes cluster. And now, let us get our fingers dirty. We are going to install Starox in our Proxmox container using Dockage. We are going to use this Docker Compose file to do the job. Copy the content. Let's click on the Compose button. Paste the code here. I was previously testing Starox, so you can see I have a Starox here. However, for the sake of this video, let's just call this Star. And save. In your case, you would type Starox, but in our case, we are going to call this Star. We have now saved it, and we can now start this container. Now that we have this started, we need to open the Proxmox container in the terminal. This is our container. We need to log in as root. We are now going to run this command in our Docker container. This will connect us to the Docker instance of Starox running in our container. Now that we are in, you can see that this is using a MySQL client, meaning that Starox will make a good substitute for MySQL. We are now going to demonstrate how similar Starox is to MySQL. We'll do that by creating a database, creating a table using the standard MySQL commands. 
We've now created our database, we need to use it. And now we can create a table. We will run this query. And now let's see what we have. There we have our customer table. Now we want to put some data in there. We will now run this query, which will create us three customers. And now let's have a look. Let's run a select query. Using StarRox, we basically have the functionality of MySQL, but with a big difference. This thing can work with millions, I'm talking like a hundred million records, parallel processing using a cluster to do that, which we can't do parallel processing with MySQL. So it's a tremendous improvement on using MySQL for big data. And now we would like you to do an exercise yourself. If you look in our documentation. We've covered these steps here already. We have an exercise which we would like you to do. Here is a link. It will take you to the Starox Quick Start page. And when you get to this page, click on this button here. And then do this exercise from here down. We were very impressed with Star Rocks. We could not believe the two things that we found. Firstly, it's so close to MySQL that you could actually use it. Secondly, that this thing gives us tremendous performance as a parallel processing database. If you run this in a Kubernetes cluster with a hundred nodes or a thousand nodes, you could process a hundred million records faster than what MySQL could process 10,000 records. We trust you found this video interesting. Please give us a like and also please subscribe to our channel so that we can reach our target. And with that, back to you, Josh. Thank you for watching this video, exploring the world of Docker containers to install in your Proxmox server. We got to install Starox and we're surprised with its features. With Starox, we have a parallel processing, MySQL database alternative. Starox uses the MySQL client, making it a MySQL replacement. Starox is optimized for handling large-scale distributed analytics workloads. Starox high performance and scalability by distributing data and query processing across multiple nodes in a cluster. Running this solution in a Proxmox container is incredibly useful. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Your dedication to exploring Proxmox's capabilities is invaluable. Stay tuned for more insights, automation, and empowerment through its incredible tools for your home lab. Please like and comment to share your feedback and suggestions for our channel. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials, ensuring you never miss out on informative videos. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. For those eager to deepen their knowledge, consider becoming a Patreon supporter for exclusive access to upcoming training courses, enriching your expertise, and supporting the channel. We genuinely appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more enriching content with you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and continue harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.